Okay, for those of you taking the AP uh, digital exam at home or in person, so for our school, once again, it's at home, um, there's four steps. So first they want you to download and install the uh, digital testing app, which I'll show you step-by-step step in a moment and log in. And then from now between your AP exam, they want you to try the practice questions and just play around uh, so that you kind of know what's to be, to be expected of you on the exam date. Step number three, one to three days before the exam, you're gonna have to complete a uh, setup. It's kind of for each digital exam you do. So if you have multiple AP exams, you're going to have to do this. It's pretty quick. It's just a video that you watch and then a few questions that you set up. And then finally, 30 minutes before your AP exam on the day of, please check in for the exam and just be ready to go. All right. So that you have time to uh, do anything if anything happens or comes up. All right. For, for those of you installing the 2021 app, thank you for making it this far in the video. This is for you. All right, so we are gonna be doing ours uh, online at home. All right, so this is the same thing. So um, there's gonna be a link below and it's gonna be called download the 2021 AP exam app. So you can click on that for all the information. And then when you click on this um, button right here on the website, it's gonna go ahead and download it onto your laptop that you're gonna be using on your AP exam. So just a few things, I just wanna show you kind of what happened to me when I installed my app. This thing will come up, it's gonna say installing. There's gonna be a desktop icon that's gonna pop up on your desktop. Don't be, don't be afraid of that, that's normal. And then it's gonna go ahead and load up, okay? Now, as you load up, the first thing that they're gonna have you do is they're gonna have you uh, log in. This is the same login that we've been using for AP Classroom and for the AP uh, website. So just go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna hit that submit button. And if you forgot your username and password, you can find it there. Next, it's gonna have you um, agree with the terms and conditions. Once again, you are signing this, you are, uh, you are agreeing to this. So my best advice whenever you sign anything is to read it. Now, most people don't. So that being said, I've done your due diligence and I've kind of walked through a few important things that you got to know. So as you can see, there's 14 sections here that you're going to need to do before you click that read and accept. And just some important information that you should know if you're testing at home or in person, but really doing the digital exam. So this is the digital AP exam app. And once again, you, uh, you have to install it in order to take the AP exam, okay? Next, on test day check-in, 30 minutes before your exam begins, you uh, need to log in and you need to check in and just be ready to go, all right? And once again, even if you log in late, the test time and the like time on the exam will start immediately at the designated time that the AP exam is gonna start. So be careful about that. Once, I, once again, as I said, uh, it's all going to be synchronous, which means whether or not you're East Coast, West Coast, or Central, the, uh, the exam is going to start at the, at the exact same time to prevent any cheating. Okay. Uh, most laptops, I'd say, um, have the operating system and the internet capacity to run this app. But once again, double check that before you take your exam. The device that you need, once again, it can be really any your laptop, school laptop, doesn't matter. However, there's something that I saw here that you should have enough disk space to run the exam. And so if your laptop is completely full, that's something to note. Just make sure you have enough, uh, have enough space on your computer to run this application and to store this information. Um, when you navigate the exam questions, once again, you cannot go back and forth. You have to go in one direction. And once again, this is all uh, notated on the terms and conditions that you're gonna be signing. Managing your time. So once again, there's a timer on top. And you can hide it if you want, but once it hits five minutes, it's going to go ahead and pop up and it's going to be in red. And you're going to go ahead and see that you only have five minutes left. Okay. And once that time expires, it's done. It's going to move you on. Okay. When it comes to answer submission. Okay. It's really interesting here because once you finish your AP exam, it's going to automatically submit if you're connected to the internet. Now, this app is pretty interesting. Uh, it's pretty cool because uh, even if your internet logs off for a little bit or logs back on, it's going to save your information. That being said, in order to submit it, you have to connect to your internet. And I believe it said there, you must submit it within five days. I wouldn't even wait that long. I would, I would do it immediately. And um, yeah, and then if you have any problems too, there's also ways uh, to let them know that you had problems then during the exam. And um, there may be some other alternative options for you. Once again, if you agree, click on that button and then you're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. The moment you click on that button, this uh, website, uh, this browser uh, will kind of open up. Uh, all of your AP exams will be loaded 
five days before the AP exam date. So you should have nothing in there right now, no active digital AP exams, but five days before you should, you should see that pop up. Now click on the second tab right here that says practice. Now to, ex uh, to set up your exam, you're gonna click on this one down here. And this is to set it up for your actual AP exam. There's another icon up here that wants to give you a practice opportunity, but once again, in, before they give you the actual practice exam for your AP test, they're going to have you set up like the exam or do some exam setup. Takes a few minutes, pretty quick. I did it myself. And after that, you're good to go. You can take that practice AP exam and you can kind of get a feel for how the actual AP exam is going to be on the day of. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I truly hope that this has been helpful for your understanding of what's expected. For more life lessons and the content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already, or click on that like button to really help out our channel. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor making this content for you. And I wish you the very best on your AP exam when you take it. All right, see you next time.